Happy Sunday. Getting back into that little scrolls again. I've done a bunch of research. Couple of things I probably want to be able to know. me something best day related on Thursday next Sunday trying to figure out where to go just give me a second trying to get away from an enemy okay meat in exchange for the one day left it's taken forever get two slots is a bunch of fives.
someone got badly hurt at the Olympics. No doors. Still trapped. Get me out of here. I want to read. Um, I can just walk through there, mate. The stream carvers came in here, opened all the exhibits, but didn't bring down the barrier? Ugh, rude. Inconsiderate. Didn't even clean up after themselves. The feral gallery is a mess. It's untidy and strewn with cipher bits. I'm gonna leave. There's a barrier. It keeps the exhibits inside. We can't leave the gallery. Those Daedric dream carvers mucked everything up. Now there's no one alive to bring... Simple. Cypher, free Elvie. She'll know a way. She might be alive, but she won't be easy to find. No, no, no. The Bristleback Lords won't let us through. And dream carvers. Yeah. It'll be worth it, though. Help me find free Elvie. She'll give you a treat. Everyone likes treats. It's one of those things. The powerful secrets. Known things. <laughs> First, bristle back lords. We have to put them to sleep. You can find sleep potions down in the gazebo. You toss them, they take a whiff, then bam! Snores galore! Not my fault you can't understand. I got lost in the books. Now my words are scrambled. Like Kwama eggs. Many things. Planeswalker, prisoner, teacher, student, friend, enemy. The multitude's in me. I know, and I made a deal. I... Uh, she runs the gallery. Brielvi calls it the Feral Gallery. Oh, it's a good name. Oh, yes, I'm not... I'm not dead, so... Uh, um, please don't look at this, mate. We're going to collect monsters here. Well. After decades of plotting, the porcine hegemony will become the vassals of the slumbering uh, hegemony. Which is a different and much better hegemony, if you ask me. Are you ready to watch the coup unfold? Yes, they'll drift away to the land of dreams. Good dreams, though, not dream carver bad ones. There, they'll drink in the halls of their no... From the skyway there. Let the potions fall on them and the gas will do the work. The lords will try to intimidate you, cajole you, cuddle you with their great stinking arms. If any of them tries to lure you to their side, ignore them. Resist. 
Sleep potions. They sing a song of smoke and calm even the angriest of the bristleback lords. Powerful concoctions there. They used to know how to make them. Back before I fell into ink. Let's go, before anything else decides to get in our... Their crimes are too horrible to name. Their passion's too lustful. Okay, so these bristlebacks transformed people? Or are they just bristlebacks and this dude's just that shit? are unstable things, right at them. The bristleback lords seem like overgrown swine while they're asleep. It's strange. I don't like it. <laughs> Where isn't she? The ciphers have eyes everywhere, and they watch us all the time. She knows where mine is. It's only fair. Her study's all right, but it's worse than my enclosure. Uh, I at least know I'm trapped. Aren't we all? The Lord of Eyeballs watches us all and lets us stay here in a... It's a... Gallery of special beasties and other things. Secretly special, no one knows. Who knows? Maybe he likes it. Maybe he keeps dangerous creatures here. I wanted to know everything. <laughs> I found what I wanted, which is different from what I was looking for. I know that which shouldn't be known. Discovering the secrets of the secret keeper has its consequences. Confine. Why would I want to do that? Oh, I may have been different in the past. Clearer, purposeful, but... That person learned all he could to share it across the darkness. I learn because I enjoy it. Not selfish. Pure. This is my purpose. I was a... It's a... Isn't it more selfish not to share knowledge? It's good learning for the sake of learning, but sharing it is also great too. supposed to be inside spiders a spider should do it find some ones i generally don't like the ones in this are studious. They write down all the answers. Look! Look! We need a boom. 
Tell the spider you're sorry and take the thing on its back. It's Inkwell. We need to put the Inkwell back on the rocks. Make the boom, but don't spill. Those things are fucking crazy. Those things too. But like in a good way. Freaky as fuck. If everything cool. turns black, that means I'm dead. Have fun. No matter, it's open now. Why would we blow it up if you were going to go through the window? Morian didn't stay in his cell. Who are you? One of the dream carvers. Oh. You aren't a dream carver. He always thinks that. My plan was to stop the dream carvers before they got to the forbidden exhibit, but you can see how well that went. A truth so powerful can melt the mind of anyone who's exposed to it. Morians, the only mortal I've heard of who survived a known thing. If they find out, the dream carvers might... The barrier, right. The truth is, it's weak in the Forbidden Exhibit, which is why the Cephaliarch plays Seeker Sentinels there. Hermaeus Mora wants Morian trapped. He never indicated that he wants Morian dead. Help him. Seekers defend the more permeable parts of the barrier, but they're distracted by the Dream Carver's attack. You might be able to get a powerful watcher that protects the known thing and all the creatures down in the Forbidden Exhibit. You may not always see it, but it sees you. It won't be long now. Freovi's just about empty. Did she say something about a known thing? Elvie's glass is nearly empty. Grains of sand spilling out on the floor, running out of time. My sand's inside, but my eyes leak. No cage, no friends, no one to make plans for me. I'm not. The forbidden exhibits. I always knew I was gonna get in there. I was gonna ask the known thing if it wanted to help me escape, but there are seekers. They make noises. The entrance is southwest of us now. I, I, their sensibilities don't extend as far as my fingertips. Whiskers and ears and a nose that wrinkles. You're almost out of words. Never thought I'd see you put off a chance at escaping, Morian. I hope you have better luck than I did, my friend. I am with our notion also. <laughs> was with us in that fight.
Pinky, black, and red like. Just like I always thought it would be. I never got this far before fear took me. Uh, you got me now. Who forbids these exhibits? It's down here. Come on, let's look. It's here. We're not gonna sprout liars, fungi. Uh, but those wiggly face seekers protect it. I can hear them. They're laughing at me in my mortal memory. Just because I can't remember everything I read doesn't mean I'm a toad. Plan? I don't plan. I jump before looking and hit the ground whenever it wants to meet me again. Hmm. Known things turn seeker minds into runny nose soup. If we open it and point it at the seekers, then they if you're worried about dying or losing your mind, you'll never learn anything useful. I so close to a new known thing. That's right. They also taste of raspberry. Minds rely on what they think they know. But truth doesn't care about you or what you think. Looking into a known thing, trying to comprehend the impossibilities of them does funny things to you, like make you grow an extra toe. Shh, it's a secret. I have no idea. Maybe I was limber. Maybe it liked me. Maybe I didn't survive it. Oh. like an orange peel what happened to your fruit friend great horse or dead host alive trapped stop more than most Collected by the collector? Now my <laughs> mind hurts. <laughs> the lich is trying yeah, to resurrect her. Oh, that her. The seekers won't even name her. Quite valuable, isn't it? Audio goo. Go from oblivion. It's 
too old to hear, but there are big thoughts in there. A mind that wants to swallow me. This place is forbidden. Your presence is unwelcome. Right, we didn't want to be here. Give me a sec. Button dust. Oh, lucky. Stendar must be watching. Dragon. An untethered bone dragon? No necromancer? No ties to life or death or magic? It just is. You just fucking shout at me? Asshole. Truth ahead. I can't wait any longer. It's an Elder Scroll. Right. Oh wait, no it's not. The main thing is not an Elder Scroll, but they do have an Elder Scroll in here. Mm-hmm. 
Give me, give me the Elder Scroll. There's a supply sack just there. What? I am. That's going to come in handy. It's excited. Feel it in the air. You open the gnome thing. I'll help tilt it. So close to a noon. I feel freedom in my ribs. Extra toes, no walls, and ears dry, no runny nose, brain soup either. I'll say success. Free, no walls or home, just good. The Lord of Eyes and Arms must be all right with me leaving the gallery. I can explore and read and find myself again with this new truth. You helped me, and I helped you. I have to find the shadows and burrow away, Daydrap Light. You were there along with the many multitudes of me. Didn't you see the light of darkness? Fly in the weight of truth? Slurp the dredges of your mind through a cup? I don't know. All that raspberry smell made me close my eyes. Either it's in the box or it isn't. The moment you go back and check, it'll decide where it is, regardless of which answer you like better. Best not to wonder and let it be. He must be. Otherwise, I would have never made it out. If I had to guess, there's a lot going on between the eyeballs right now. Why worry about me? If I am being watched, it's because I'm more in it. Become a secret, even from the secret keeper. Keep changing and never swim in the sea of fate. Read, not to learn, but to alter. Exist everywhere. Old habits are dead, but I'm an idea, necromancer. This new exhibit of mine is bigger and has more books. <laughs> Without reading every book? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, <laughs> you'll never leave them. Suppose that's the plan if you want to read every book.
disaster, whose Marco hopes the vessels remain intact. Huh, that could be helpful. Thank the tides. The vessels in this room seem largely intact. Tide King be praised. It seems the beasts did not breach the secretists completely, and the vessels are in good health. Resetting the focus. Bodies? What? The... Oh, you mean the vessels? I forget that non ciphers get a little kill. Yes. Well, mostly. It's not the most exact metaphor, but the broad strokes are apt. <laughs> the vessels have their minds joined together. What? N no, 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 no. Every vessel here willingly entered a pact with Hermes Mora. They s okay, fair enough. What's happening to that vessel? Quickly, reset the magical focus. Another fatal body. I will be free. Watchers, uh, whiskers. That's not good. What was that? That doesn't sound good. I've been tending to the vessels in the corporea for many, many years, and never normally they just lie there. The rectory's magic keeps the vessels healthy while their minds serve the chorus. They, they don't just get up and say. They never try to break free, but if they did, I suppose it is possible. Even the gradual extraction can cause stress. Nosebleeds. Precisely. This worries who's Margo the most. Something may be toying with the vessels in the rectory mm -hmm. and killing them in the process. But who's Margo? Uzmargo will start with these manuals. You will check the other tomes, yes? 
Look for anything on vessel disturbances. Reading? Let's talk. Sis on these archives, whose Marco doesn't see anything useful in these books. Yes, yes. Some say it is like a dream world, where the minds of all in the chorus can wander freely, interacting with one another. At least that narrows the scope of our research. Something the disturbance must originate from within the rectory, or even the chorus itself. Press on to the Esoterica Corporea to the north. It houses Somnambulum, one of the devices that grants entry to the chorus, sustains the vessel, and so on. Examining one might provide us whose Margo will try and... The Esoterica Corporea acts as the entry point for newly interred minds joining our chorus. It depends entirely on their contract. Some may spend their entire lives as part of... Thrive like worms on a hook, like before. Reset the focus. I will get out. There, another one speaks. Another coral mine. I think I understand what's going on. We should. After witnessing that vessel speak. I fear I now understand the source of our problem. Yes, a troublemaker, disconnected from the chorus. It keeps trying to escape through a connected body, but the attempts prove... Well, you, obviously. Whose Marco must oversee the procedure and monitor the apparatus, yes? I would not suggest it if we had any other way of finding the rogue mind. But every moment... Ah, yes! Wisdom and... There, that's the somnambulum. I'll prepare it for you. isn't too disorienting. Let's discuss our next move. Welcome to the chorus, or its lowest levels at any rate. We call this the cognitive substrate. Few members. To enter the chorus, every vessel signs a pact. You think of flimsy parchment contracts, yes? Not so in Apocrypha. It is an anchor that binds the vessel's mind. At the very least, it will tell us who the mind belongs to. I do not know what shape the spell will take inside the chorus. Each vessel's perception of the space is unique, but it should be easy enough to manipulate and follow. Give me a second, I'm gonna cut my heating on because it's getting a bit cold in here.
cautious. The Chorus's mind sentinels will see you as an intruder. Stand ready to defend yourself, yes. This is our pact, yes? Have a look. It might tell us something about our quarry. Fall devil, watchers spare us. On the one claw, it makes sense that a serial killer in the chorus would be the cause of our troubles. On the other, there is yes, yes, but dealing with him means killing him. A task that is a little more difficult than just stabbing his coral manifestation. Who's Margot? Who's Margot? Thinks so. But we will need to act at the same time, like two claws pinching a well-oiled grape. Kuzmargo will need to leave you to find the body, while you find the mind. The path leaping into other people's bodies may have caused some mnemonic bleed. Elements of his psyche, memories, could have broken loose. I'll tune the spell to seek out his memory. Best of luck to both of us. First life I took. A scrawny beast, loved by the child next door. Seeing the boy cry made me smile. Christ. I offered the shelter of my basement to wandering souls, only to take their lives while they slept.
father's knife. A handle carved from an antler. A blade sharp enough to cut bone. An artist never had a brush so delicate. Can you hear who's Margo, friend? Who's Margo mm -hmm. isolated the rogue mine's vessel. You should be able to dispatch him now. Hopefully the assholes in here somewhere. Trace of the Daggerfall Devil in the registry. Now, quickly, adventurer, return to your body.
better, yes? According to my instruments, you made it out of the chorus with nearly a scratch on your psyche. How are your memories? Any confusion? Dizziness? No? Safe from immediate danger, yes. But stress levels among the vessels are still far too high. I must inspect each mind and vessel to ensure their well-being. You have a strong mind. If you have the time, I would certainly enjoy studying it. Of course, of course. Whose Marco is sure our prince has plans for you beyond the rectory corporea. Perhaps one day you'll... Our prince will be... Whose Margo supposes... Okay, so... I need to visit the town. times. to customers like you. Open the necropolis. Now all will see how much I honor and respect my ancestors. What would you ask? I've always had a bit of us. My blade is...
I'll be just a step behind you. Did you need some? Right, probably got a lot of armor. What are we up? Let's hear it. your service. Big bad. I'm sure any followers of See if the Void Crawlers dropped anything. Looking forward to seeing what you make with that. I 
see my mirror. Could be a trap. You get my mirror. Is it broken? Void Prowler Brutes keep notes. What's up, Bella? People leave trash everywhere, don't they? That's enough. Bring what you have. Mojo keeps Hezek waiting with anticipation. I can stand here forever. You're the one who grows old. Mortals are quite skilled at picking up garbage, aren't they? <laughs> anyway, this fabric tore off a Void Prowler's tunic. I grabbed for it as I fell. We'll use this to track the thieves. This no... It's nothing. Not every piece of detritus you see on the ground. You don't give Hezek orders. But yes. I'll use this cloth and notebook to locate them. Hmm. Should have guessed. They went to the obscured forum, right where I was headed. I bet they planned a tree. Head south and you'll find the obscured forum. Hard to miss. Look for the book. The module knows very little. Last I saw Zavol, he ran deep into the forum. Have fun with the Dark Reeves if you go in. Now leave me be, mortal. I have dying to do. Not personal. He works for Wim. She has the juicy stuff. Valuable. With that and the score here, maybe we get our own fortress. Damn it. <laughs> Mortals. It was a joke. We don't die. This just hurts. I'm ready for a new body. Get it. Now we find that secret. Isaac will let you lead. See here? The intake chamber. Deposit a secret. Get a boom. Madam Wim. Madam Wim.
Madam Wynn. Sendar provides.
standing. Be proud of that. That's the red kind, right? Perfect. Shell feather. Good. I hate those pests. We're in this together. Probably turn the lights on above me because I'm getting a bit dark in here. I'm probably looking a bit vampiric. That tip should be sharp enough. Too cramped. Designate space for the spell. Deeper into the form we go. uncertain about this. Do I still have... Yes, that's right. And I need to do this. Well, has... Hezix? No, you hold on to it. That thing has caused me a 
Madam Wim wants me to deposit that secret at the intake ma. That will purchase her a boon of Mora. I mean. deposited. Hold for assessment. No, I do not want to hear with Dr. Hezek is my most invaluable servant. Much of my power comes from his skill. Without him, I would be lost. What? It's supposed to be a secret, not a lie. Hmm? Knowledge assessed and found sufficient. Accept this boon of Hermaeus Mora. Move along. It, it's true? You, you get the boon. Ridiculous. Meet me outside, mortal. I'm, I'm done here. That shit. I've been underestimating myself. Doesn't know what to do with himself. Another find for your pack. The secret had value. Madame Wim believes what she said. Hezek's secret. When my debt to Madame Wim gets too low, I'll mess up a job on purpose. The Void Prowlers have a clan, yes? Well, I have her. That's it. That's the... What she said changes nothing, by the way. Hezek still resents scurrying around when told to. Still. All right, then. Back to Fargrave for me. Hope I never see you again, mortal. And... Mortal, you and I are different. Madam Wynn, me, probably... Hey.
talisman of St. Boris will be mine. I wonder what price and that lot might fetch. Yours, Relasi, if you can catch me. The Lark of Rosgard is so smug when he's got the high ground. He won't be so smug when he's level with my boot. And his little disappearance. That fetching thief has been a thorn in my side for far too long. He's planning to rob the shrine at Salem Mora of the sacred relic of St. Boris. I need ex Stand in for me at the shrine and the Khajiit caravan nearby. Ask questions. Search for any clues or suspicious activity and assure the High Priest that I have everything under control. High Priest Trelam will be your point of contact at the shrine. He seems insistent the Khajiit are involved in the heist somehow. I have a feeling they're only guilty of poor timing. Meet me back here when you're done. I'm Relasi. I'm a buoyant armager and I serve the will of the tribunal. I'm fully aware that I may be more straight-laced than other armagers you've met. No need to remark on it. My standing orders are to apprehend history. <laughs> That's one way to put it. The others in my order... I can detail the charges of... The Lark of Rosgard is a slippery, pompous, no-good brigand. The Talisman of St. Boris is exactly... Please. A caravan... I've got okay. a plan of my own. I don't really care enough. Meet me here when you're done. Oh, nice. What did you find? All may bask in the talisman's divine glory. From a respectful distance, please. <laughs>
sorry about that. I hung up on me. If they call back, I might need to hop away again. Excuse me. Please step back from the relic. If you're here to bask in the presence of the talisman of St. Boris, I humbly ask that you do so out of arm's reach. If you have any questions about the relic's history, I... Shh! Not so loud! This is a very delicate situation. We need to ensure that... Of course she did. That's it. I'm sending a priest to shadow her. After Rolossi came through to examine the talisman, I've had to stand watch. I've made sure not to let anyone get too close. Aside from you, there was one other, an elder Khajiit who asked many questions. Without, I might add, the judgmental sneering typical of most outsiders. I cannot recall his name, but he was alone. I've heard the... I'm so glad you asked. This shrine has stood since the dawn of the Second Era in honor of St. Voris the Immolent, patron saint of House Telvani. I am the High Priest, and I oversee the care of our most valued relic, the... St. Voris believed that we honor our ancestors through the forceful expression of will over others. The gem within the relic exemplifies this belief. It was claimed in conquest during his march across elsewhere. Not stole, claimed in conquest. The shrine is dedicated to exercising our forceful expression of will. We hope to someday unravel the hidden mystical properties held by the gem that eluded even the great Saint Boris until testing what most co I'd hate to. Stopping here when these dark elves lurk about the edges of our camp. Oh, Shadea, you worry too much. Surely they mean us no harm. Eh, old fool. What is it you want? This one is called Shadea. She and her mercenaries are here only to protect. This one is not in the habit of paying tithes to foreign saints. The elder may have gone, but he insisted others stay at the camp. Fine by this one, so long as she gets... Yes, a nosy walker came to spy and ask foolish questions. And Shadea was... Stand a bit close. Bother someone else. Luck be with you, walker. This one is Elier Sodro. Caravan Elder. Our wares and coin are in short supply, but our camp is open to all who may seek to rest and be at ease. What does your heart seek that we may provide? Uh, no. We Bandari are used to scrutiny, but rarely from such a distance. The Dark Elves in these lands seem cold. The Shrine. Oh, 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 that shrine. It, it is a place holy to dark elves, yes? Of little. Ask Shadea. This one thought it sensible to hire protection while crossing a land rife with slavers, and her sharp eyes miss nothing. And you are welcome to ask around our camp, Walker. Make yourself at home among the Bandari.
As Bandari, our travels take us wherever the roads may lead us. The roads happen to lead us here, to this Sail and Mora. We sought to stay at the Grand Outpost east of here, but it seems to be in ruins. Perhaps you have come across our kind in your travels before. No matter. We are traveling merchants, seeking to sell our wares in all corners of the land. This one was born on the road, and Shadea and her mercenaries are not, though they would be welcome among us if they desired to be. This one has... Tripped all of your protective runes. It's almost like they're working again. We can't let him get any. No! Get him! Right? Sometimes it's hard to tell. I 
I know that fetch is here somewhere. Let's see if we can draw him out. Sendar was with us in that fight. You know, if you leave that replica where it is... Nobody's name. Name. How could the Lark have known? He has the talisman. The real talisman. I made a replica of the original. Switched it out without the High Priest knowing. Then, the High Priest refused my order to take the relic off display. He thinks it's safe as long as he's watching it. But the Lark could steal stripes off a cat. If I couldn't stop his heist... I thought I could at least trick him into taking that arrogant sweat. And if that foolish priest hadn't prematurely set off my runes, I'd have clipped the lark's wings and had him dead to rights. Tell me this isn't over. Tell me you found something. A story. Great. What reason would this elder have to visit the... Wait, wait, wait. Did you read this? His legend says the relic holds this eye of Banda. Keep an eye on that elder. If he's really involved, he may not know the danger he's put himself. I'll see to High Priest Trelin. You really... Did you? Because I'm an armager. Go ahead. I'll meet up with you soon.
Shadows. Please. This is nice. Aurelia and I used to go camping like this on High Isle. Seems like a long, long time ago. They're still alive in the ruin. Shadea kept pushing to leave. Elir Sudro insisted we stay. And then he told her everything. The relic. The thief. Secrets we swore to keep. Took them to the ruins. The relic is the price of their lives. Everything went off without a... Wait, what happened here? Did you do this? Is right God. I knew Relasi was desperate to get me, but I never thought she'd order... Shadea? Why did he tell her? That old cat is too quick to assume the good in everyone. And perhaps I'm about to make the same mistake, but I'll ask it plainly. Can I... You think the Bandari are paying me? They could barely afford to pay their mercenaries. The Lark of Rosgard never leaves a job unfinished. Stealing is so inelegant a word for what I do. I prefer to think of it as reacquisition. And when we get to the ruins, I need... I have some answers. She was on duty guarding the library of Vivek when she almost caught me reacquiring a rare first edition on behalf of the original author. She... She's obsessed with my every movement. But I'm the flirty one, sure. I keep telling her we should run away together. That's probably what she tells herself to keep from saying yes. I met Elior Sudro with a bounty on my head. He could have turned me in for the payout. Instead, he welcomed me into the caravan. And that story of his ancestor tricking Saint Voris into coveting the Eye of Bandar. The Bandari believed that favors should be passed on, not repaid. The Lark of Rosgard was born from that idea. Leave that to the customs of the Bandari. His family wanted to reclaim the eye just as much as him. Going alone was never an option. Reacquire. You really don't trust me. Nothing. I'll meet you at the ruins. Remember to keep Shadea talking as long as possible. Oh, he's stealing stolen objects. Prowess was befitting a knight. Well done. Your spell restrained you. Walker, come no closer, or this one will bleed out the elder. Where is the thief? Should they please? This one is sure that Walker means no harm. We can talk through this, yes? You should have kept your nose to yourself, Walker. This does not... What? Where did you... It does not matter. Give it to... With so many hands grasping for it, someone must pay well for it, yes? What was that? No! Curse you, thief! No! 
You will pay for this, Walker. Surrender the talisman or the others die. Please, Walker. Save this one's family. Give her the talisman if you must. That's Relasi. Follow my lead and play along. Stop right there! You've tricked me out of the talisman, but you'll never catch me alive! Scoundrel! Thief! Pariah, curse you and hound your... This one is not injured. This one misplaced his trust and now pays dearly. Ready to write the next chapter? I came as quickly as I could. I'd have been here sooner. But High Priest Trelum kept badgering me with questions. He hasn't even realized his precious relic was replaced with a fake. While there are lives at stake, I couldn't give a nix. If you can go after them, I'll escort the Elder here safe. My thanks, Walker. This one shall pay your favor forward. starting to get worried. The others just passed me. They're safe. Now all that remains is to decide the fate of the talisman. She wouldn't. The only person Relasi wants to suffer for this crime is me. And she still needs to catch me. Besides, if the high priest knew about her little stunt with the replica way ahead of you, while you were saving the hostages, I doubled back and managed to steal Relasi's replica off the high priest personally. Serves him right for not listening to my favorite. So I could give it to you. Will you honor the patron saint of House Telvani by restoring his shrine's most beloved spoil of war? Or will you don the mask of the pariah and deliver them the replica for everyone involved to keep their desired reputation? As far as Relasi knows, you only have the original talisman. If you give the original to Elior Sudro and the replica to Relasi, she'll have to pretend it's the real thing or get herself in a hole? Then you'll have honored the tribunal and saved the shrine of St. Voris from a fate of worshipping a worthless trinket with no real mystical properties for time immemorial. Or, what they don't know won't hurt them. The Eye of Bandar has been lost for generations, and yet the Bandari kept its legend alive through stories. Is the faith in St. Voris so fragile? That question, my friend, would be best asked of Elior Sudro. No, no. See, the important thing here is that Velasi didn't catch me. In fact, you looking like you caught me works in my favor. Trust me. She 
My reputation wouldn't be. Relasi has made things hard for herself, remaining a decent person in her line of work. Even her making that replica was done with the best of intentions. Chasing when we've just started having fun? No, no. The Lark's got Relasi follows a code. See you around, stranger. And send my fondest farewells to Relasi, will you? Thank the eight you came along. I had no idea. Certainly. You know, it's been a different quest. This one mourns those lost when... Ha! So, the fate of the... This one grew up hearing the story of his little ancestor, sparing the life of her caravan by tricking the fiery one into his obsession. Ah! By all appearances, it is a simple gem trapped within a guild. Should you break it free from the talus... You mean that the Eye of Bandar inside the relic has no hidden magic at all? By the code of the Bandari, such words would be unwelcome. This one cannot say, Walker. Walker, this... Belongs to them. Good, you're back. Just as we planned. The lark got away, but the remaining Khajiit are safe, right? I recognize my handiwork. I'll be a hero returning this to the shrine. It's a false victory, but no one needs to know that besides us. Take your what happened today was a setback, but the knowledge is my burden to bear. No one needs to I'll send a report to my superiors. I'll remain in Salem Mora for a few days, just to make sure it's safe. Oh, I've always had an eye for that sort of thing. The sacred gem looked enough like Moonstone that I made it work in a pinch. A little bit of weathering, using some basics. It's just being furtive and aware of your surroundings. No, no. Hold on. Armager Relasi, your efforts in returning this relic to our shrine will be...
Okay, back again. There's the main tower, and you can see the isolation tower to the north there. They're not like the towers back home, but they're beautiful in their own way. Mm. Good quality there. Uh, uh, is this the buddy dungeoneering idiot? <laughs> now I'm dealing with someone else. so far. He is in that chest. It's a spare for when the researchers misplace theirs. Got it? Let's speak for a moment. All right! We had the key. Nathan's protective wards. You know, Cecile's magic barriers that kept Nathan's half of the tower in isolation. I couldn't cross them at all. Sorry. I guess I've been here so long it's become normal to me. Cecile said the outside world would kill Nathan. Okay, maybe I'm And not she was working on a cure. Enough. But as far as I know, she... He died years ago, when Nathan was just a baby. From the disease they were trying to cure. It's remembering something. Cecile must be sheltering Nathan for fear of losing him, too. She's do we'll take the portal pad to the cellar. Then the key will get us into the labs. Good question. I've never known her to be particular. Nathan's well-being is test subjects for her experiments. Animals, as far as I know. Some of the experiments are rather grisly. I kept away from the lab for that exact reason. No. I don't think I've ever seen it this empty down here. Where is everyone? Wait. What are these subjects doing out of containment? Good. like this. What has Cecile done to them?
There. Are those research notes? Look around. Maybe there's something here that explains what happened. What's that? It looks like a letter. What did you find? Anything that explains what's happening? Let me see. No! I'd never write such a thing! Did Cecile write this? Spores? The researchers spoke of those. Little seeds on the air, invisible to the eye like flu or fever. I think that's how molds and mushrooms make more of themselves. Delman spore sample. Delman. Delman? It sounds familiar. I just can't place where I've heard it before. She mentions these toxic... Oh, the observation outpost. What happened? Where is everyone? Now what I want for dinner. You're all right. <sighs> Daisha. <coughs> Spores nearly killed me. <sighs> Barely. <coughs> Barely exposed. Mistress Dreloth. She coaxed him back to isolation. <coughs> Delman. Mistress Dreloth's greatest experiment. <sighs> the cure. The affliction. Tunche is all right, but he's just given us more. Qu I know, but fetch it all. I just no. That's just the trouble. If Nathan had said or written it, I'd probably remember it exactly. That must mean the researchers too. Gods, what has she done? battle we can walk away from, eh? Wait. Do you feel that? It's like we're being watched. I've tolerated this incursion long enough. Whoever you are, you've fallen for Dacia's fanciful tale. And now you're enabling her dangerous obsession with my son. Nathan made his feelings for Dacia perfectly clear in the letter he wrote. Or was that vital piece of information kept from you? So what if I did? They both do well to believe it. They can never be together, do you hear me? Never! Leave this place! 
Forget all that you've seen. Delman. Where did you hear this name, Delman? Wait. I remember you from old Isra. You stopped Shalreni. You saved us all. Delman was her husband. That's right. I must have heard it from her once. Long ago, when she first brought me on. He died from the Nahatan flu. I don't know. Has she gone mad? Was she always this way? If so, she's been hiding it. And I can't blame her. If she were carted off to Gorn, she'd be parted from... If you mean to heed Sithiel's words and leave, then I'll have to go on alone. Don't listen to me. Perhaps my guardian will compel you to turn back. This is your last chance. Daisha, turn back, or you may never leave this tower again. Stay back. I tried to escape, but she was right. My mother was right about everything. Nathan, what are you talking about? We're here to rescue you. Stay back from the ward. Mother says it's already in a weakened state due to the strength of my affliction. I, I don't recognize you, stranger. Rescue? Then she really does love me? Th there was this note, you see. I was certain it was fake, but... Then I saw you and, well, I started to wonder. My father, yes. The affliction my mother gave me. She named it after him. I didn't know until I tried escaping. The wards were never for my protection. They kept others safe from me. If I had left with Daisha, well, A living cure. A symbiote that protects its host with toxic spores. I would not be alive without it, and it would not thrive without me. All these years, she really has been trying to cure me so I might live a normal life. So now you know the truth. I'd kept this secret from Nathan his whole life. That he might not grow up knowing he was a monster of my own making. That he might keep his will to live while I sought a cure. After all, I gave him the Nahatan flu and cured him of that. Delmin and I were trying to save the world. A promising fungal spore sample was on its way from Black Marsh when Delman caught the very thing we were trying to cure. And I lost him. I had to know if the spores would have saved him. Nathan came from me. I am enough of him that the fungal symbiote does not register me as a separate entity, and therefore not a threat to its host. That is when I named it. Delman Mycota. The cure, like love, that would be with us always. The truth is a poor cure for love. I did not want Data to share my fate of being shackled to tell Drell off by her own heartstrings. So I tried to drive her away. But since hers is a... If Daisha is willing, I can safely inoculate her with the same spores I used on Nathan. Then she can make herself useful and help me find... I've been studying Delman Mycota for over 20 years. If anyone can find a cure, it's me. What does it matter if she and Nathan are able to live out their days together? My researchers signed on with me because of my area of study. They knew the dangers of Delman Mycota as well as its potential. 
all that space in the labs was necessary for some or if I had time to think of a more believable lie to tell the both of them. Idiot. I knew they had been meeting for quite some time when I overheard their plans to run away together. Of course I did. I suppose my research notes wouldn't give you the whole picture, would they? Tunche, one of my most devoted researchers, discovered it in a pool of brackish water deep within Black Marsh. Its capture, when bonded inside the lungs of its host. Delman Mycota passively produces spores toxic to almost all non-fungal life, as you saw in the caverns. It seems to eradicate it. It is sensitive to smoke, a herald of fire, which causes it to release reproducing spores in anticipation of finding a new host. These are the spores we would use to inoculate Daisha, if that is what she chooses. Correct. Somehow, Delman Mycota recognizes itself, and of course doesn't see it. Nathan and I could finally be together. But the way to do so means becoming his mother's... experiment. But I'd be safe. Provided for. I'd get to dance and sing and... Leaving for good is no option for me. My heart is Nathan's and his is mine. If I don't give up my freedom, I can help Sathiel find a cure. I'd get to see the world like I always wanted. But I'd be in her service. And I'd be alone. Life offers no guarantee of love, either. But I found that, didn't I? I don't see it as giving up... I don't want to be alone again. I want nothing more than for Daisha to stay with me. If we can't walk the world together, at least we'd never have to be alone. Don't look at me like that. I tried to get her to leave, didn't I? At best, it would... After I lost everything and leaving for good is no one. Life offers no guarantee. I made it this far. I can work and wander a bit longer to have Nathan by my side for good someday. Sathiel and I... Daisha, I love you. I'm glad you're going to see the world. Nathan, until you can see it with me, my road will always lead back to tell Drello. Have you found any ciphers? The Laxalt is dead. Why, this is the first volume of the... This is... We meet again? Oh, a strange tale. That makes... The ciphers... It might. That is... A strange... We are... Apocrypha can be... So we've got two points of interest.
Do be careful. Don't rush about and scatter the dust. Seek a new talon or stake. Looking forward to seeing what you make with that. Be gone! My big mind is my own. Your life is mine. Did you hear? Never mind. Welcome. This should be most illuminating. Ah, my new collaborator. Good to see you again. By Mora's eyes, these frayed fates are becoming increasingly annoying. I look forward to putting them to bed, as it were. Do you have the items we need to summon our Daedric Consultant? Peerless work! Let's see, here's the i -Core. Unpleasant to gather, but I've done worse in my day. Now then, I'll light the fonts and begin the incantation. As we go, I'll need you to offer up the Tome Dust, Talon, and Icor, in that order. Just so. 
With any luck, this Tem can tell us where the whims of fate have led Martina. If this doesn't work, well, I'm sure I'll think of something. But let's hope it works, eh? Onward! Summon Tem, the omen of destiny. Come before us! Tem is coming. Ask your questions, make your offerings. We offer the dust of an ancient spell. I seek the location of my former colleague, Martina Abor. Tem's eyes have seen you, Azander Alcibiades. You search for one who does not wish to be found. Recalcitrant, are we? We offer the talon of a seeker. I need Martina to correct an error. Where are they? You tamper with fate, mortal. Tem is a darkness approaching, one you have unmoored. Daedra, I have called, and you must answer. With Icor as payment, I command you. Where can I find Martina Abor? I shall answer, but not to you, Arcanist. Tem will speak with the one who made the offerings. The audacity of that creature! Tem sees you, chosen proxy of the Great Eye. Adventures, triumphs that have happened, or may happen. The choices of Xander Alcibiades hang heavy about him, reeking from stains on his hands and his soul. Also, he speaks with a distinct lack of respect for Tem, the omen of destiny. Martina Abor, Arcanist of the Abyssal Sea and Illuminatus of the Threads of Fate, retreated to their sanctum 920 days ago. Seek them within the subrealm. The Arcanist you travel with sought to view the paths unwalked, but failed to see where those paths led. In his hubris, he has allowed a thing that... Questions asked and answered. Farewell, mortals. Are all things being equal? The Underweave is a power... Hmm. Am I? No. no. We were excellent collaborators. Yes! A... You must under... A thing? Given the focus of... It's a public dungeon. Of un Wonderful. You can call a faded tides. No. Faded glyphics whose future. Over here, mortal. You won't get far without my boon to guide you through Underweave. Not to belabor the obvious, but we'll need to be careful here. The Fate Weaver key is palpitating. 
We must find it before it's unwoven. Watch your step as you are most dangerous. Absolutely. To the heart of the underweave. The glyphic assemblage. This is where faded... The nemesis needs no use. I'm done for. Wait, what is that? Once a pleasant surprise. I'm actually happy to see you, meddler. My work in the streams has come to fruition. But never mind that. I was wondering if this was the day you... Ah, oh, this again. You may not have met me yet, but I've met you. I am quite familiar with you and your... Forces beyond you. Yes. yes. Thaddeus Cosma, a traveler. You charmed me? If it's any consolation, watchling, you performed your role after <laughs> To the nemesis loop. It will take the two of us to disable each loop. My role? I didn't play any role in two. Hey, get back here. It's not the boss, it's a boss.
with you, my friend. Give your magic a chance to recover. to regain my sense of smell. A dubious improvement. The next mechanism, please.
Glyphic. It's already been to think. Not ideal, but not unexpected. Meddler, a word if you please. Not ideal. I'm doomed to be tormented forever. It's a simple internal anguish. Cool. Well done. Now, out to the courtyard. We'll meet in the heart of Underweed. going. Alright, we're gonna go downstairs, go and dinner. Back in a second.
prowl the dark corners of Apocalypse.
Glyphic on the altar. There's not a moment to lose. Almost there. A bit further. Quick! Grab the glyphic before the entropic bubble collapses. It's back. My master's faded mm. glyphic is really, really back. Puts a kink in your neck. Let's reconvene outside Underweave. I'm sure this display of temporal magic raised a few alarms. Yes, yes. Let's leave before the guards come and take Argyll away.
had him. This must be it. Knock, knock, Martina. to Curiosity's blade. Take a look around, if you don't mind. I need a moment. No idea what that concoction is. Curious. Martina was a zealous note-taker. That may be helpful to our inquiry. Perhaps you, uh... Might find something on her remains. Hundreds and cautious. Can I then? Come, come. Let's talk. I uh, wish I could say this was the first time I found an old friend dead. From the spell lattice surrounding them, I believe Martina's research may have followed a similar path to my own. Let's take a look at that journal. Hmm. Martina says here she could somehow scry for the fates freed from her timeline. Fascinating. She experimented with several different methods, uh, including using her own blood. It's messy, dangerous, but... Perhaps effective. Yes, yes, I believe so. I have some thoughts that need to... I'll see you back at Cypher's Midden, my perspicacious collaborator. Just need to see to Martina, here. Research. I'm not quite sure. Martina? I hope I can honor Martina's memory somehow. I'll see you back at Cypher's Midden.
all the way back here. Glad to see you didn't stumble into a hole. You really do make an invaluable curious. I've handled my fair share of faded glyphics, but something about this one seems almost familiar, like a tone. It's no secret my travels take me far and wide. I go to places far beyond what a simple compass or map might show. And in my travels, I believe it does. Whether it's one fate of many or a singular inevitable fate, I won't know until I... Activate it. Hmm. It's not a good idea to look at your own fate. I wonder why my master is so fond of that particular one. Uh, speaking of fate, you certainly helped me salvage my own. To think I came this close to being tossed into the Nemesis looms. I wish I could say I enjoyed our adventure together, mortal. However, you and I both know it was far too distressing to be fun. Still, this watchling is certainly grateful for your help. Take this reward. Well, <clears throat> here goes nothing, Cosma. Thaddeus, you must listen closely. The fate of the planes depends on it. So the rumors were true. Mora really did learn my fate. Don't talk over me. Understand that when the time comes, you must say no. I must say no? What an oblivion am I talking about? In my timeline, things didn't go exactly to plan. But I hope you'll glimpse this causality in enough time to change our fate. It seems the only person who can fix a Thaddeus Cosma mess is Thaddeus Cosma. How exciting. In truth, Here's your glyphic, Watchling. And you, Meddler, do try to stay out of trouble. Not going to happen. Welcome. I've just been preparing. Martina's research lives on. I believe with further development, I can adapt her methods and modify the Fate Weaver key itself. But let's crawl. It's time to put my... Observe this thaumaturgical quadrant. Gripping the key, activate each of the beacons. Drift. Superlative! The drift is in the far north of the region. I'll meet you there. That was rough. We shall... Truly? I have no... your back.
Blast these frayed fates. Let's get in there and turn theory into practice, eh? Smooth these things back into the universe. First, we enter the drift and find the darn thing. The Fate Weaver key in your able hands will lead us where we need to go. Now, properly attuned, it should allow you to tug on the threads that bind my fate to me. Blast these well, first, we enter the drift and find the darn thing. The Fate Weaver key in your able hands will lead us where we need to go. Now, properly attuned, it should allow you to tug on the threads that bind my fate to me. We use the Fate Weaver key itself to bind this frayed fate back into the fabric of the universe. Now, I'm not... Well, to be totally honest, I'm not exactly sure what that will look like. But we're armed with the dead friend's knowledge. We'll see it done. Into the drift! Huzzah! <laughs> Anything good? That was everyone's weekend. Before he was good. The fate we were key will be our guide. It should make visible the threads that bind me to the nearby great fate. That thread was woven past that door! Up the ramp! I think I see something! Look there! This 
distortion is a frayed fate. Let's pull this situation into focus. Well, the deck is at there. Stop lollygagging, Azander. I'm tired of all this. What? A sailor? How odd. I haven't wanted to be a sailor since I was a child. Build rats and stale bread. I'll never make it to first mate. Tentacles, what is that? I grow stronger. Use the key. These room forms should banish that thing. We will not be undone. It worked. Oh, I wasn't sure it would. So, is that a different version of him that was supposed to die? But managed to survive somehow. What we just witnessed. Oh, distressing, horrid. Of course, yeah, just processing. Tim, it seems. Allow me to take back the Fate Weaver key. Hmm. I'll need to consider this new information. Incredible. Somehow, my experiment seems to have created a new, previously unseen mystic phenomenon. One, yes. I mean, would I prefer this adversary enjoy a strenuous argument over a pot of tea? Without a doubt. But you have to understand, indubitably, I must. Together, my new, okay. together cohort, we will accomplish stupendous things.
free, open the necropolis. Now all will see how much I honor and respect my ancestors. Nice. Right. I heard they had some sort of celebration. I... Oh. 80, I've got a staff to research. Nice. Now all will see how much I honor and respect my ancestors. Right. I heard they had some sort of celebration. Some funeral. Probably should sell those on there. Guild store, but I can't be bothered. This is a city of rich. Oh, they stole some of my money in the bank. I gotta go to the Back.
synopsis. Let's see what's around them. The corner has gloves. Stendar protect us. Let's get out there. Good. Ruggis, I told you. I can't do that. You know the rules? Those days are behind me. Yeah, of course. Just trying to help out my friends. No worries, all right? Hey, it's our newest recruit. You made the right choice signing up here. The Gonfor? Yeah, of course. Remember. Okay. I'm still not 100% sure on the rules of this game.
Excuse me. Sorry about that. Family stuff.
like ideally I want ones that have coins and power. Which is the red. starting to understand how this game works but not completely the combo stuff that I'm not sure on at the moment The more I attack, the less power I get. The less power I have, the less prestige I get for that round.
Not bad for your first game. Not bad. Better than my first, that's for sure. I did see you hesitate once or twice. If you need a refresher on the rules, you can always check the rulebook downstairs at the bar. Now, I think it's time you met Kishka. She's the Mooney Khajiit downstairs. Kishka and her brother create daily challenges for the chapter to keep us sharp. It's great practice, and you can win some fine rewards, too. Keeping her attention's no small Gosh. feat, but when she focuses, look out. Doesn't print properly. Kishka brought you here. They were muffins. <laughs> it is they Kishka. were very expensive. There's my new favorite Royster. I guess if you've spoken to Soren and Kishka and gotten their sage advice, it's down to me to provide the final part of the chapter's introductions and provide one last little acorn of wisdom. We should have a word about decks, I guess. Those decks Razumad gave you are just the beginning. Fresh decks pop up all over Tamriel, and each of them offers a unique style of play. You can even find upgrades to the cards you already own. I've earned a fair amount from just playing tribute. Kishka offers them in her daily challenges sometimes, especially if you hit those win streaks. I've even heard rumors that adventurers find them out in the wild. Well, between you, me, and old Bendu there. Well, if not, Maybe I'll play a few rounds of Just a little. I have it on. Thanks.
very popular. It's a lot. If you see a pawn shop, give a shout. I want to get a gift for Aurelia. Thank you for bringing the Echo near. We will need this relic. Speaking of relics, thieves stole an old staff from the Old Sworn Pit. I want to How know why. Indeed. How did my unwelcome guests find their way to Bedlam Vale? I am curious. Good orcs died, little prince. I'm not curious. I'm angry. Someone went to great lengths to examine the Echoneer. Strange. I never gave that to some input. A lot? You may not know me, mortal, but I know you. I am an admirer. Oh, not this tiresome conversation again. Aurelia and I used to go camping like this on High Isle. Seems like a long, long... Thank you for all... It is good to see you again, friend. Still, I have no liking for any of this. I may be a king in Orsinium, but I am also a loyal servant of Malakath. When the Furious One puts a dream in the staff, mercenaries. Thank you for answering my summons, Proxy. I am afraid our respite has reached its end. We saved Apocrypha from Vermina and Periite, but it seems Torvasard has embarked on a new design. Hermaeus Mora has need of you again. Torvasad seeks to return to the Mythos, the heart of Apocrypha. He intends to restore Ithelia, the Daedric prince he once served. He has already opened two glyphics to revive her memory. He cannot be allowed to unlock the final glyphic. Torvasad cannot force his way into the Mythos against Mora's will, but Mora is unable to perceive his movements. There may be a way for Torvasad to sidestep Mora's ban and reach the vault of the Glyphic. Here, take the Echoneer. You will need it. A relic forged by Hermaeus Mora, the Echoneer can corporealize distinct foci. That is, it can reveal echoes of past events related to the Forgotten Prince. Choices made ages ago now menace our world. The Echoneer can help us understand them. When you come to a location associated with Prince Athelia, hold forth the Echoneer to draw out and observe any lingering memories. Mm. You may also need to perceive the threads of fate as I do. I have a spell for that. Because Hermaeus Mora has foreseen that a restored Prince Athelia threatens the very foundations of reality, endangering Apocrypha, Nern, and all of existence. The one who knows needs mortal aid to avert catastrophe. Hermaeus Mora cannot see Torvasad, but he... Hermaeus Mora reached into every mind, mortal and immortal, and erased all memory of Athelia. His work, however, was not perfect. A select few sensed that something had been taken from them, and he could not erase his own memory of what he had done. Torvasad calls Athelia the Prince of Paths, the Mistress of the Untraveled Road, the Fate Changer. Your guess about what that all means is as good as mine, Proxy. As for her fate, 
I imagine that secret is locked in the final glyphic. Torvasad said he was tormented by half-remembered dreams. A strange thing, as Daedra do not dream the way we mortals do. The sense of something missing drove him to search for answers. That search finally led him to Apocrypha. Torvasad is a clanless Dramora who allies himself with different... Yes, it lies because you bear the mark of Hermaeus Mora. I don't need to ask those other questions because I know the answers. The threads of fate. The huh? threads mark Torvasar's train. Perhaps my luck is changing for the better. Why, if it isn't my sister Everly's friend! Good to see you! I'm dealing with a real mystery, almost as convoluted as that waking flame affair. I'm tracking a group of troublemakers called the Recollection. I don't suppose you're after them too? They're an elusive lot. Something between a secret society, a mercenary company, and a cult. I caught wind of people disappearing, and I think they're involved. If you're not after the recollection, why are you here? Why is this shit? Dangerous quarry. But you look like you know what you're doing. It's strange that my pursuit of the recollection and your hunt for Torvasad led us both to these old ruins. That does give me an idea, though. Shit, I just ripped my leg off. I propose we work together. There are more recollection here than I care to tangle with by myself. But maybe we can get some answers together. We can figure out why they're interested in the reliquary of stars. Why we look for your elusive Dramora. I overheard a recollection mage named Endegor mention a hidden shrine in the ruins. Something about a waterfall in the flesh gardens. Not the most pleasant appellation, but... Maybe we should start there. It's somewhere to the north. It seems... It seems to be...
cracked acorns. I don't like the look of these statues. Watch your step in here, friend. Look, is that a door behind the waterfall? I can assist you. The recollection is here, all right. Be ready for trouble. of the mystery and danger. Be out of practice. What's that on the floor? Looks like we found the recollection, or some of it. I didn't know Endegore well, but what I knew of him, I didn't like. A bigoted radical at best. I'm surprised he would work with any non Bosmer at all. May I see? Huh. That settles the question of whether Torvasad and the recollection are working together. According to the letter, they haven't found it yet, or even any leads to its whereabouts. If they had, Endegore would be off with something un... This Sumliok vault is no longer safe. We must move the lamp. But where can we hide the relic? I know a cave to the north. The lamp should be safe there, once we apply the appropriate spill. Was that a memory from the Marie Figuera? Never mind that. Who's this High Elf? I am Laramel, Little Wood Elf. I assume from what we saw in that memory, that Torvasar did not find what he was looking for. Uh, correct. A stra- I see. Nature's- Let- Curious. Hermaeus Mora. I am not- Excellent. I can it easily. What do you suppose? 
suppose they do for fun around here. You should be able to pursue the threads of fate here. Follow them, Proxy. Ah, the Fate Walker arrives just as her mo. Audrey. Audrey. The shrine. You stand. This place. The moon spirits favor you, Fate Walker. Audrey's a thing play. The first main has shown us a new path. This temple is to be raised. So command Rita Ritata. to remain intact, sisters. Do not question the warrior of the East and West, my sisters. Now, back to Dokren. Sendar keep me safe. And my coins in my purse.
As I expected, our paths have once more come together. Enter the portal. Indeed. Else is here too. Why would Torvison seek out a shrine to Boethia? Wait, up above. Torvasad is here. Ah, Mora's champions. I expected to run into you eventually. Boethia's blade, abolish it, is mine now. The first of the three relics I require is in my hands. Soon, Prince Ethelia will be restored. I hope you are there to witness her glory. A relic of Boethia? One moment, Proxy. We should speak. Torvasar departed and took Boethia's blade with him. If only we arrived sooner. Yet perhaps we were not meant to stop him here. We must have... Good. Fate lead us to an abandoned shrine. There must be something here. Fascinating. That ancient book stirred up a memory. You the tribunal's ordinators hold our brethren. We need the skein of secrets to free them. But the skein is lost. We must beseech the Lady of Whispers for help. Then let us adjourn to her secret sanctuary. The circle we stand upon is the door. We need but a single drop of blood to open it. This ritual circle conceals a gate, activated by a little blood. Let us see where it leads. Why do you always cut the... Nothing. Fate seems to be fighting back. I wonder how much of that is because of you. Torvasad, talk to Fate's Chosen. Fate's Chosen? My father's skein of secrets. And you believe, Mora? Stand aside, mortal. I will not be swayed from my purpose. A skein of secrets used to defeat Athelia long ago. 
I cannot help but wonder what became of it. Come, Proxy. As I thought. A good question. I find it interesting. These princes are known as the Good Daedra in Dunma tradition. Long ago, they often... I am not sure. Laramil, you've returned. But I know that look. What's wrong? Thorvisard once more moves against Apocrypha. He seeks to restore the Forgotten Prince. I'll let our friend explain. I finally resolved to see the world beyond Necron. What I know about Daedric Princes and Relics, I learned at Lech... Hmm... I've never... Go on ahead. Suppose we could knock? We have no time for this. I shall open a portal. No need for that. The Golden Eye foretold your coming. Welcome. The Greetings, Abbot. champion. The Golden Eye, Hermaeus Mora himself, only this once. Which is why I thought it best to listen. So long as you promise not to harm any monks nor remove any tomes without permission, you may explore. I know of a few. Send your friends to the library. It's down the stairs to your right. Look, the Echonir has something to show us. Fate has led us true again. It is the very one those three ancient priests were handling in the memory. Examine it, Proxy. I'll do it. Those devout priests offered themselves so their princes could meet in secret. We must find the gate. Torvasad said the relics would help the course of...
curious. Worship implies the subject. Ah. I overheard your conversation, Proxy. Anud Nobio. Well? shop around here? Let's take a look. in time. Obviously, Anud not the priests allow their princes to possess them and wade it into the water. Ha! Huh. I know where to find the shrine. A submerged. Jesus, those crabs are big. Oi. Again, you asshole. This is it. After you, Proxy. Island? Where are we? Who are those warriors? A demi plane. Not an island. Still standing. Be proud of that. Where's 
good at this. Blade led me to this portal, the path to the mythos, Apocrypha's heart. Only those bearing the essence of Azura, Boethia, or Mephala can access this portal. The gate recognizes Boethia's blade. Now I can return to the mythos and find my prince at last. A permanent portal to the mythos? I did not know such a thing existed. Chosen of fate, hold! We must speak. The one who knows wishes... Tovazar proves surprisingly resourceful. I created this gate to admit none but the mortal vessels of my allies to Apocrypha. Yet, the relic of Boethia he carries to see my defenses. Ah, clever ploy. Torvesard has breached the mythos, the heart of my realm. Twice before he found his way to a glyphic, holding part of the secret he seeks. Only one part remains sealed. You must stop him from reaching the glyphic of shattered reflections. I created this gift, and I command it still. Behold. This portal is opened, and will take you where Torvasad has gone. What happens next is in your hands. I dare not interfere with fate more than I have. You are the chosen of fate. This task is appointed to you. Not by me, but by the demands of causality and consequence. If I try to stop Torvisard, I will. Part of Hermaeus Mora's domain. I remember an the call. Oh, 
prowess was befitting a knight. Well done. Do not recognize these Dremora. Perhaps Torvasad is not the only one beginning to remember the Forgotten Prince. I remember our friend, Miramar! This hideous self is awake! Stand close to My apologies, Mora. They see anyone marked by Mora as a boy. I have no time to tell them anything. The last glyphic. The last glyphic and the final secret. I must know what happened to Prince Ethelia. Defeated Prince Ethelia. Now we must all forget our victory. Forget? Why should I forget how I took this mortal shell and tracked Ethelia with my skein? 
Azura and I did our part with these vessels of flesh. And the land. And the Polisher. Listen, my fellow princes. The Lord of Fate is right. Imprison Athelia in your mythos, Mora. Then erase all memory of her existence. Imprisoned by cowards. Abandoned by betrayers. But I remember. And I know how to free my friends. Do not understand. Where is Prince Ethelia? No. This is no trick. Do you see? Prince Ethelia has escaped. She freed herself from this prison, or was freed by some hand. Prince Ethelia is the mistress of the untraveled. I still have a tongue. A fate forged the moment Torvisad opened the first Olympic and began to remove her. Return to the Mythos Vault, mortal. We must speak. Everything that may come to pass. Yet, I cannot select the outcomes. Of I did not lie, chosen of fate. Nor was I mistaken. I told you what you needed to know. This spire was never Athelia's prison. Being forgotten was. The moment Torfasan finally remembered his prince. It's a question we all... Prince Athelia has escaped her prison, yet reality persists. And Torvasad understood events no better than we do. As I have seen time and time again the man... So I heard. And he did not send us to pursue Torvasad. It appears that the next step we take must... That fact has not escaped me, Proxy. Torvasad spoke of restoring his lost realm. Miramor, he called it. I am relieved to observe the perpetuation of the macrocosm. <laughs> Our reality has not unraveled yet. For now, we must wait and watch. For now, yes. From things Torvasad said, I ex- Prince Athelia, the forgotten prince. First, I must- Of course. Hey. What'd you quest on?
Uh, so now, I go to because oh, I want to do the daily crafting grits. If I remember correctly, the expansion. And the next bloody thing is 60 bucks. So you've got what currently is released, except for the most recent on sale. So it was really cheap. Now it's like crap, it's freaking 50 bucks for an expansion. Okay, uh. I don't know what that. Going to crafting stuff.
orange kind of killing them. Ruggiero. Denis. crafting rats so far. What's the story behind this, I wonder? Crafting lights this time. Bullshit. Very crocking this. I see what it is. It's the last problem. Five-fold venerations, my friend. Well, let's do some... ...files.
Okay, let's see Dark House style. Five food then. These are what we're about to hurt, I'm guessing. Five food. That one. Hey, Bob Barrick.
nice. What did you find? A little bit off, but oh, that could be helpful. Let's go find someone to help. Let's get out there. Did someone call for a night? Bang the dents from my armor while we're in town. Oh. <laughs> Probably already done the bloody DLC for that. Or when he started whispering about how the queen wasn't fit.
Tor. Okay, we Another find for your pack. Two seaside columns on the coast of the river.
tens of them. There's southeast. I haven't found some of those clothes, that's awesome. Nice. What did you find? Should be about one.
definitely finding a lot of time to see this not related. Ignore my success. Hold on. And a grit will grade it out into the sea. Well, right, so it's definitely in the ocean. So it's gonna be like yes yeah ish.
Ah, oh, there it is. Looking forward to seeing what you make with that. Hey, boss. Pretty sure I'm fairly spot on. There it is.
horse and then east. Let's go. Quest. Thanks for coming. Ah, you got my letter? Thanks for meeting me. to some celebratory sweets. It will be quick, but nope. None left to stand against us.
can I help? Over here! Just getting a charcoal rubbing of this tablet. Dula! If freeze grace, the fire song didn't get you. You know better than to worry about me, Laurel. But look, I found something. <laughs> I asked Laurel to find capable help, and it looks like she delivered. Exquisite. The name's Dulef of the Mages Guild. I managed to give those Craven Fire Songs the slip earlier, but I'm sure glad to have you with us now. Look what I found. An ancient tablet. The carving's as old as Tawaka's tale, but the symbol at the top represents the Druid King. And the pattern suggests some sort of ritual. But I'm not sure about the other three symbols. Weirds, maybe? No idea. Earlier, I met with a Beldama Weiris. Thought she might know something about why the Druid King visited the Weirds before leading the Druids to the Sisters. She needed time to recall the stories, but remembered this tablet and sent me to examine it. No idea. That's why I made this rubbing. Why don't you take it to the Beldama camp near the Weird Tree and show it to Weiris Tola? Maybe it will help her recall any stories about Weirds and the Druid King. Druid Laurel and I will meet you there. The camp is... <laughs> I owe her... We'll meet you at the camp shortly, friend. I want to take a look at this tablet first. Happened here. Druids call themselves the Fire Song. They attacked us. Light and thorns. Please, friend, talk to her and find out what happened. First, no, only re it all happened. Yes, Fire Song camps on the mainland. We need to figure out where they took you as told. Stay here. I'll follow our friend. <laughs>
sign of where is told. Sacred seeds. Laurel said the fire song were after the stone lore seed at Earthenroot Enclave. What does this have to do with the Druid King's visit to the Weird? Fan, huh? That's enough to point us in a direction at least.
see if we can find any sign of Wiristola. What's that inscribed there? Free? Wonder what that means. Mm. Let's get back to Good Druid Warren and Wiris Jocelyn and show them what we found. and thorns orders interest who knows when there's a cave near that spot on the map over on the eastern shore we never go there my sisters say it's haunted haunted great i'll bet that's it then we'll meet you there Path ahead, friends. We'll follow behind you.
I don't have time for distractions. The second ritual site awaits. Where is Toba? I'm all right. Ah, Dulef. You and your friends arrived just in time. Thank you. The Glenmora Weir. Hmm. Let's just... As sure as... Perhaps I can help. Let me create a portal to Bankurai. It should deposit you close to the Weir camp. Stay back, Druid. Your threats of violence are not welcomed here. Please, I'm not one of the others you encounter. My friends and I are here to stop you. Oh, really? And why should I trust you? You travel with a Druid, stranger. No. Thank you, Weiris. We'll find Weiris Sorsha and stop the fire song, I oh promise. Oh my god. I'm still going.
are as generous today. No, we were too late. Archdruid Michiel killed Wera's Sorcha. We need to get inside and stop him now. Someone approaches. Guard the ritual site. You don't want to do this. Spirit for the fire song, just as the prophecy dictates. The power of the fire song are true. You and that blighted stone lord. Why must you interfere? Druid. I'll take you someplace safe after I talk to my friend. Like the Druid. Let me open a portal for us back to the camp. Here we are. Yes. Free will go with you. We could bring Free to the Mages Guild. I'm sure they'd be safe there, Laurel. No, Dulok. I think I need to take Free to the Stone Lore Circle. They belong with the Druids. Free belongs After that, I hope Free. Yes. Yes. Free was a purpose and stone. Rain and oh. sun.
Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna leave it there for tonight. I'm gonna admit. Uh, if watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, please consider following. If you're watching on YouTube, you're gonna check out Twitch Stream Live. Link is in the description below. Or you can check me out at twitch.tv slash wydos96. Um, I might take a break tomorrow. And then come back on on Tuesday. I'm not really sure what the plan is. Because... What I could do is just go through each zone and complete everything that I can do that's solo. It's not already done. So it's essentially just delves. I mean, I've still got some to and stuff. Like, I've got two way shrines I haven't found, and I've got, let's see, two points of interest. Not sure. Let me think about it. Yeah. Till next time, I will see you later.